Our opening hymn is number 311, Table of Plenty, number 311. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Good afternoon, everybody. It's so nice to be here at the chapel of uh, the Sisters of the Cross again to, uh, to share the Eucharist with each other today. And we also welcome those who are listening at home. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in communion with the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and call to mind our sins, asking God to fill us with love, mercy, and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God, and and to you, you, my my brothers brothers and sisters, sisters, that that I have greatly sinned. sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now be attentive to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, There shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accused. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will will praise praise you, Lord, Lord, for you you have have rescued rescued me. me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise Praise you, Lord, Lord, for you you have have rescued rescued me. me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise praise you, Lord, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. 
I will praise praise you, Lord, for you you have have rescued me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Listen now to a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that Jesus at that time The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus heals. And um, he healed uh, this, uh, this man's son in, in our gospel today from St. John. And he heals even today, too, doesn't he? He does. He does. And, um, and he will bring about healing in our world today, especially during this, uh, this pandemic crisis that we're all dealing with and, and throughout the world today. And... Um, Sister Flavia and I, we, uh, we, we've prayed together often, often in, in, uh, in the hospital in, in those, with, with the patients. And, um, and, and you know, you know my, my routine when, when, I, when I go to anoint people with the sacrament of the sick. Uh, I, I, for, when I pray over the person, I, I lay my hands on them, and I have sister and, and the whole family come around if they're there with us to, to lay hands on the person. You know, that right there is, is, is a really healing gesture, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine sitting in a hospital room right there? You know, and we all know what it's like to be sick. Uh, it's, it's lonely. It's, it's depressing. You feel like, like the whole world has given up on you. And, but but what, what, a, what a, a moment of healing to have your whole family lay hands on you, to let them know that they're all there for you. And also... Uh, there's there's a lot to be said about the sacrament of the sick. You know, when I bring that vial of oil with me to anoint the person, I'm bringing the whole church. And so when the family is is laying hands on them, along with sister and, and me, uh, really, we we got to believe that the whole church is laying their hands on that sick person, right? And then I also say a prayer for for the people that are taking care of the person. I, I pray that 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 the Holy Spirit of, of wisdom and courage will guide the minds, the hearts, and the hands of everyone who's taking care of that person. You know, their their, their doctors, their nurses, the people that bring their meals to them, the people that mop the floors, even the pastoral care workers like Sister Flavia. That uh, that that this sick person will experience the healing presence of Jesus through the minds, the hearts, and the hands of everyone who works at at that hospital. So that, in a way, is Jesus healing in this world here and now. And we got to pray for the same thing during this pandemic crisis. We need to pray that the whole church will lay their hands on those who who are sick with this virus, And that the Holy Spirit of wisdom and courage will guide the minds, the hearts, and the hands of everyone who's taking care of them. And let us pray that that this crisis will end soon. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us stand and pray for each other.
for Pope Francis may he be blessed with good health in his humble witness to the power of God's love for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For magistrators and mediators, may they be blessed with prudence and selflessness as they strive for fair and just a solution to the cases of conflict before them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer at the hands of others, May the Lord grant them reprieve and bring them justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the joy of the gospel be a source of light and life of our daily endeavors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember and pray for Lena Berra, whom we remember at this Mass, and all those who have died in the light of faith. May they, may they be brought into the light of God's everlasting presence in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And sisters, if you'd like to add a prayer or two at this time, you're invited to do so. Lord, we ask you to bless and protect all the doctors, the nurses, and all other health professionals who are taking care of these virus patients, that the Lord may touch through their touch, heal the patients and grant a speedy recovery to all those suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. As sisters and priests and caregivers, we ask that, that the Lord will continue to, to touch us and bless us and bless our ministries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them and for all the needs and prayers which we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear us and answer us in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humble himself to share with us our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be, Blessed God, be God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all of our sins. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for, for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. So once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save, Save us, us Savior, Savior of the world, world for, for by your cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Terry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Joining together our hearts and our voices, let us pray in the words that our Savior Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on our faith. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will and who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the, of the world, world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, world grant us peace. peace. Lord Jesus Christ, of faith in your mercy and love, I eat your body and I drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and in body. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, 
and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who has instructed the hearts of your faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may have a right judgment in all things and evermore rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is number what? 310. 310. 310. All people that on earth do dwell. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with mirth his praise forth tell. Come we before him and rejoice. Know that the Lord is God indeed. Without our aid he did us make. We are his folk that does us feed. And for his sheep he does us take. Oh, enter then his gates with praise. Approach with joy his courts unto. Praise Lord and bless his name always, for it is seemly so to do.